basically my my kids are vaping and all their friends are vaping yeah I took it down. I, I had a conversation with my kids. So I made a decision that affects 400,000 Michigans. That, 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 that was her. That was her reasoning. Hence the reason you should never put any kind of emotion into a vote. That's why there's checks and balances. Well, but, but I mean, I hate to say it, but like, as far as like voting for something, like when you're an elected politician, especially in the executive branch of government, like I don't really care about your family life. I really oh. don't. Your decision should be based strictly on what is best for the people you represent, right? Thanks for telling enough... me you hit the button, asshole. Are we live? Yeah, think... we're live. I totally thought that you had put it off for a second. <laughs> I'm tricky. I'm tricky. So. I'm like I'm like staring off into space, all goofy looking, trying to figure out what I'm doing on my computer. I'm tricky. I try. I try to catch people off guard. I was hoping that you were. I was hoping I catch you saying some derogatory terms. You and Charlie, and I could be like, "Oh my God!" And we'd have a, we'd have a drama show. I could read. Buddy could Holly name. says, <laughs> "No," he says, "No." That's a nice bobblehead, dude. This yeah. is my hero right here, bro. I've had this thing for like twenty years. Ooh, wee, you, you look just like Buddy Holly. <laughs> I had a Chihuahua that was attached to my uh, my first car, the Shaggin Wagon. You had a, a car named the Shaggin Wagon. Of course, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So many, and it was like the thing for the girls to sign the little bobblehead chihuahua. There were so many signatures, and like one bitch would scratch off another girl's name. Did you got heated, man? Were you? Was that all the chicks that you shagged in, in the shagging wagon? I didn't shag you them actually all. Shag anybody in the shagging they wagon. Their name on the dog. I've had sex in the car one time. One time, and it's not really. Like, well, no, twice. That's twice. it. Yeah, once at a party, and then once with my girlfriend. Dude, that was always my Some favorite high thing. School. <laughs> well, that and swimming pools was always my favorite thing. Those two times. I've never done that swimming pool. Really? Know. Yeah. Dude. Pretty boring. I like the it's bed. It's so easy to get guy. away with, like, <laughs> yeah. with people around. They're already scantily <laughs> clad. I want to tell you a story. A group of people under the water, so it's... Oh, my it's gosh. The truth. It's the same thing we do in the hot tub, basically. Pretty much. Charlie's got his hand on my leg right now feels fantastic <laughs> let, you know okay so let me tell you something if you ever go to an all-inclusive resort and it's adults only wink wink i didn't know that so yeah. adults only and all-inclusive resort is like a swingers club i had no idea yeah so veronica and i went to one and we went Careful like there's a pool we're all excited we're in mexico we're like this is fantastic we're gonna have a great time we went to the pool and literally this lady was like grinding on top of this guy they were like probably 50 years old Dude, it's I'm like do you remember European vacation with Rusty? He's like, I think he's gonna pork her, Dad. I'm like, yeah. Look at Veronica. I'm like, I think he's gonna pork her. He's gonna pork. <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously, gonna Clark. Pork. It's funny you see? mentioned that because we were we were doing some research last night uh, right. with my buddies in Zoom. There's actually something called the uh, the nude cruise, nude and cruise. we were checking out cruise prices to see if it's cheaper to go like uh, the naked way or the regular way. But they, it says in the rules, no orgies in the hot tubs. And <laughs> even, though you're, even though you're naked, you have to sit on a towel. So, like, make sure you bring your towel around with you. So when you sit on, like, public places, you have a towel that catches the ass sweat. Well, at least they're, uh, at least they're on something? top of the cleanliness, I guess. Yeah. Can I ask you guys something? And, yes. and I want you to be honest. Just no, please. be honest with me about this. Like, how comfortable would you be just being naked in front of a bunch of people? Would you be comfortable like that? Uh, I feel like on a nude cruise, I would just go for it. You'd be comfortable though. You like wouldn't like? Okay, so there's all kinds. There's like there's like a hygiene like a hygiene type issue because you have things open that you don't want to open. That you, that there's reasons we wear underwear, right? But then a part of that, it's also like kind of a um, like self-conscious. Like you're just walking around. You know, what if it's cold, Charlie? Yeah. Well, and th they do have a rule. You have to be clothed in the restaurants. Oh, well, that's nice. But yeah, so, so basically, you would be freshly showered when you're out swinging around on the fucking... I mean, like swinging your dingling. There's no like swinging, swinging allowed. In public. Well, I'm picturing like, so they say clothed. <laughs> they mean like if you show up in like a Chippendales like a bow tie, just like walk in. That means like, put your speedo on. Yeah, yeah. That means put on your banana hammock. There you go. 
So I would definitely bring my man Keeney. Sorry, I've been ignoring the chat. What's up, everybody that said hi? What's happening? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, welcome to your vape hot tub. It's Friday. Let's cut loose, man. We're going to try to start off the weekend for you and have some fun. Um, we have a fantastic guest, somebody that we've already had once, and he decided to return Mr. Stan. How are you, sir? Thank you for joining. We love you. Am I the first return guest? No, you're second. You're Damn not the it. first. You're, you're, you want to be the first? No, that's okay. Uh, no, we had uh, Brittany. Vape by Brittany on twice. Oh, she's cooler than me anyway. Nah, well, you're both cool. You're both cool. <laughs> Absolutely. You're equally as cool in my eyes. Yeah. How are you doing, Stan? Great to see you, man. We're going to start it out like we always do. Stan, you are the man. Now, you have a high-end show. You bring some high-end stuff with you? Uh, Yeah, I got some high-end stuff I could show you. Show me some high-end stuff. I like the high-end stuff. I like to look at it. I'm a window shopper. Up. I got the note 18350 with the 415 oh i'm sorry this is the parabellum rta on top that's beautiful my that's goodness nice this has a really cool little locking system with it um and this kit is actually for a high-end company this kit is actually it's a hybrid uh 18350 it comes with an eight you can get it with just the 18350 with the 18 you can get it as an 18650 or you can get it with uh as a kit and the kit wasn't much over a hundred bucks for both. Yeah. So, not bad for all the stuff that comes with it. I was, I was yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I have, what else do I have high end here? I got the Sentinel right here on top. That's of, gorgeous, man. Yeah. On top of the Threnody. Is that like a, is that like a, a colored autumn type piece? Yeah. Is yeah, that what that like, is? It's red with like a black knurled uh, aluminum. And then wow. it's all anodized and fancy. You, you can pull the whole thing apart. It's pretty nice. It actually hits pretty hard. Um, it's a mech. Beautiful. So is that red autumn? Uh, I don't. I, 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 okay, here's the deal. Ultim is a name brand. Yeah. Right. So, anytime you see that yellow plastic or plastic, like it's just, I believe it's PEI. PEI, that's right. Kind of yeah. like Kleenex. It's actually a brand. It's actually yeah, exactly, brand. exactly. Yeah. Um. So, and then I got this right here. That's gorgeous. Yeah, that's so. Right. That's CPM, the Juma. Uh, right. Magi with a carbon fiber battery tube and Juma with the sky ball on top. That's really all the high end I got right now going at the desk. Um, oh, I got a Haku uh, oh, Haku yeah. Rivera or Riviera on top of the Squivo, which I don't know if I'd consider this mod high end, but it's a. Uh, they have those on wholesale Cyclone sites. mods. Now. Huh? The Squeevo, they have those on uh, wholesale mo wholesale sites. I don't know if they had a problem selling them or whatever. Well, I it's that exactly I'll tell you more, this. Uh, I know they were supposed to come out a whole lot more expensive than they did. Mm. Because I supposedly got a deal before they came out from the modder and uh, ended up paying more than what they cost now. So Wow. Um, so, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. How do you like the Zeta? The Zeta is dope. I don't know where it is right now. The Zeta is really good. Um, it might be in my bedroom. I have like mods everywhere, dude. It, that way, I, I'm one of those people that I don't take a vape with me at walking around everywhere in the house. I just go to where I'm going, and there's usually yeah. Stuff that, my kids are old enough to know uh, they're not allowed to touch that stuff. They're not allowed in this room at all unless I'm sitting right here and they don't come past this area. Um, at what point do you do you uh, would you allow your child to start vaping, Stan? Never would I allow it mm -hmm. when they're of age. When they're 21, 18, 21. And then I wouldn't be able to allow it. They'd be able to do whatever the hell they want. I'm trying to pass a law for thirteen. I think thirteen is responsible age. I can't tell if you're joking oh, or not. Stan. <laughs> <laughs> My kid was thirteen. Stan. I'm not fucking signed. I took, I took him to a swingers club, handed him a beer, gave him a game of joint. It's like, there hey, you're an adult now. And, and Native American at years, you are an adult. There that stuff that I had right there was all just, you asked about high-end stuff, but that's not really what I'm vaping right now. You want to know what I'm vaping right now? Might surprise you. Yes, that's what we're trying to get around to. 
pretty much. Vaping the Silver Play RTA on top of the Wave, which um, I've been. Silver Play. This thing is a kick ass tank that did not get enough love. I just don't like where the wicking is. Look, it's like right in the middle of the tank. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, that thing, I am actually vaping on the squad. Uh, is with that the RT like an Indian address thing? Or yeah, it? it's called like the War Chief or something. It's That's got like a. I love uh, like Indian logos. The, I think the proper nomenclature, dude, is Native, Native American. Um, I'm part Native American. It's so like I can, I can So am I. Supposedly, I got a percentage of Cherokee in my blood. Uh, oh, the oh, that. Mm. Yeah, it's. It made my hands stink. That's why I was smelling my hand earlier. And then last thing I'm vaping on for real right now is the gate on top of the notion. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't smelling my fingers because of any weird extracurriculars. It was remember it was the spinal nasty. tap album, Smell the Glove? No. <laughs> I was an I remember album. uh was it airheads? What was was it spinal tap or airheads where it's like I ain't farting on no snare drum? No, that wasn't spinal tap. Yeah. That was a spinal tap. Silent Tats are fucking funny. Have you seen that? Yeah. Long yeah. time ago. Dude, watch it again. It's actually still funny. I probably should. I don't remember much. I wasn't in a state of mind where you remember a whole lot of things last time I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I Charlie, what are you vaping on, bro? 20s. I am vaping on my Dreamer stack that I always rock with the uh, TM24 Pro. The uh, tiny V2 with the black Jenna. Oh, that's nice. Tiny. An old school billet box Rev 3. Uh, with oh, I like those doors, dude. They're just skins. <laughs> oh, they're skins? Yep. Look at these doors I got. I haven't used them oh, yet. Shit, that's sexy. I know. Yeah, the, the problem with the 3 it's is... It's like a Jane Fonda workout video. Yeah, the, uh, the Rev 3, it, like, it slides down. And so there's only one door, and it has a metal track. So there's just not a lot of It's a solid aluminum piece. And I'm rocking my uh, dual 21700 with a disposable sub-ohm tank on it. And that's it. A cool, cool Fire 4 with a CBD cartridge on top. CBD. Ah. And that's it all right well i've got so i did a review this week Stan, of the saga by vapors cloud this is a series 21700 box this thing is gorgeous man look at that little series box. series is yeah, that a series pardon me no is that a... really no, it's no so it's just a mech just a mech box yeah series got the rebirth on top of that with a couple of series mm -hmm. coils i actually built coils believe it or not I actually built some coils last weekend so I could so I could vape this thing. And uh, then I've got my old trusty. I got the Jenna on top of the carbon. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm vaping on that too. I forgot. This is just I I constant I never go anywhere without this. Yeah, me too. This is I, yeah, I always have it. I always have juice in it, always and then you know, I'll I'll switch it off and on. I really like vaping off of a series mod. I mean I but but you can't do it for like hours upon hours, I don't think. It just gets a little much. So I switch it back and forth a little bit. All right, guys. Well, hey, thanks everybody for joining us. We got some great people out in the chat. Lots of people here to see Mr. Stan. A few people to see me and a lot of people to see Charlie. Thanks for joining everybody. Hope your Friday is going well. Hope you guys have plans for the weekend. Now, we had a big week this week. A lot of news happened this week. Now, this week. Uh, a few things to talk about, but as we always do, we're going to start out with a little, uh, little funny news. Why don't you take it away? So, um, one of them that I saw today, actually, that really blew me away. An Indian, uh, a woman in India, Indian, not like hair, headdress Indians, but a lady in India gave Nuts. birth at 73 years old. She gave birth to twins. 73. And uh, that's kind of crazy when you hear about a 73 year old. But I was reading the article that didn't really blow my mind. But her husband was 80. And that's when I was like, whoa, they're getting it. Did so, he leave her? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not, asking. Not yet, but they're still in the hospital, so who knows what's going to come. Dude. He, apparently, he was okay with it. Uh, 
I'll read you a little bit of the article. I can't read their names. I can't pronounce their names. But um, just say Mark. He's seven and Mrs. Yeah, she's seventy three. He's eighty. They've been together since nineteen sixty two, but were unable to conceive through natural means. The doctor said the couple sought assistance from his clinic in 2018, and he agreed to give them a round of IVF treatment when initial tests showed signs of possible success. So this 80-year-old man and his 73-year-old wife went in for IVF treatments. Oh, and, that's uh, a good idea. She carried the baby with no problems. Um, the problem's going to be he's going to be 100 years old soon. <laughs> you know what's crazy? <laughs> Here's what's crazy to me, okay? Maybe. If that happened here, like somebody would die or 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 not even be healthy enough to like expect to be able to carry the child all the way through or something. You know, th- this happens in India and it's like, "Hey man, they're healthy as 25-year-olds, you know." Yeah. And they, they both- don't have McDonald's there, I guess. Yeah, he's like still getting around. He's pushing the babies around in their little thing, so it's it's crazy but yeah it's definitely different there um neither one of them looks as old as they would here but what what, what does the doctor tell you it's a bad idea what's the doctor jennifer's, like, no, look. jennifer's dad was like 68 i think when she was born really yeah and Dude. she actually um she found out that she has a uh, a half brother through the ancestry.com thing. She has a half brother that's like 70 because her dad was so old. He never knew about him. But yep, her dad was 68 and she said she hated it when she would be like in fifth grade and everyone would be say, hey, your grandpa's here to pick you up from class. Or and it didn't help that he drove a 68 Cadillac convertible that was bright blue with the white top. So everyone called it the blue shark. Dude, so that's her, awesome. Yeah, that's it, cool. it was awesome later, but she hated it as a child. Dude, I was the kid that was driving those kinds of cars to school. I see my that. Dad. I yeah. see that. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, Stan was a hot rod guy. You had a tra- what did you have, a Trans Am? Didn't you have an old Firebird? I had the W6. I, the first car I had that I ever got as my first car was a 57 Ford Custom 300. And then before I got that running, I traded it for a 1970 Boss Mustang. And then that needed a little more work and I got tired of it and traded it for an 88 Mustang Convertible LX. And then that got wrecked and then my junior year i had a 59 ford custom and then from the 59 ford i sold that and bought an 88 uh mustang w or i'm sorry 88 firebird ws6 mm-hmm. and before i that was that was my high school yeah oh, wow yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of cars, man. If you if you would have stuck with the boss and still had it in good shape, that thing would be a fucking gold mine. I was sixteen, <laughs> dude, and you know you know how you are when you're sixteen. You kind of like I loved I loved cars. I still love cars. I got a '63 Mercury right now, but um, it's it's one of those things where it's like you're sixteen and you get to a point where it's like I don't want to work on it anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah, yeah, I have a '68 that I did a frame off a '68 Chevy pickup that was my first truck I got when I was 14 and it was kind of that way it got to be where I would just wanted something to drive I didn't want to show truck to finish kind of a thing and my um, dad had a rule too is if your car wasn't running by Monday you were riding the bus they weren't taking you to school <laughs> or nothing like that you were riding the bus and I wasn't riding no damn bus yeah that's hard the bus. so I can't tell you how many times like at nighttime on Sunday I'd be working on a car whether it be mine or my friends uh, in the driveway yep been there before so speaking of riding the bus let me tell you about this marijuana uh capture that was done at the border (laughs) nice i like that that was a nice transition buddy i tell you i can't stand people trying to bring marijuanas into the into the the (laughs) criminals 
<laughs> at a restaurant right at the corner. They, this is a good one. What happened, Charlie? So when U.S. officials opened a trailer full of jalapenos last week, they found something a bit more illicit tucked among the spicy chilies. <laughs> U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers seized nearly four tons of weed mixed in with a large shipment of red and green jalapenos at the Ote Mesa cargo facility in San Diego. <sighs> Not only did they prevent the drugs from reaching our community, they also prevented millions of dollars in potential profit, making the hands making it into the hands of transnational criminal organizations. Trans Do you ever wonder about that? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. So oh, check out that. check out the picture. Apparently, they had these um these crates on the truck that they unloaded with the forklift that were just cardboard full of peppers. And when they cut them open, all the peppers fell down and the weed was still in the middle. Wow. You think they could have went for better containers? Four, four tons? Four tons, 8,000 pounds. Holy crap. It's a lot of peppers and wheat. <laughs> you ever, do you, now see that, that may be, this may be like a, a different kind of situation with that much, that much cargo. But do you ever wonder whenever they're like talking about how much something's worth or whatever, when you're watching cop shows and they find pot or, or you read about it on the, in the news or something, it's like, I feel like you're severely overvaluing that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> always. Always. They break it down to like, if you sold it by the gram. Well, and the old Charlie used to, um, I used to dabble. And so I always do, the, yeah, I always do the math in my head. And I'm like, you know, if you work it out and even if you sold it a dime bag at a time, 12 tons, the math still doesn't work out. I'm like, no, these cops aren't right. Like they get a freaking a little sack of cocaine they find in someone's car and they're like, oh, we just saved $70,000 for making it. <laughs> in other news, Michigan has now banned jalapenos. I don't know if you guys heard that. The they, flavors will too any, they will not allow any jalapenos in the state of Michigan at all. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they can do that. That sounds crazy. Do it. An emergency, Charlie. It's an emergency. We're going to ban Oh, it. the governor's kid probably burnt their mouth on a jalapeno, and she was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, got the, he got the jalapeno burger at Wendy's. Yeah. Burn his tongue. Left a blister. Banned. Get rid of those. Those things are terrible. They can kill you. They're killing people all over the place. I don't know if you heard that. Jalapeno. Oh, yeah? It's those street peppers, bro. The street peppers. So uh, I got another video to share. <laughs> this one you got to watch. Um, it's like kind of quick. I'll play it a few times. But it was a guy on a roller coaster that catches a flying cell phone at 80 miles an hour. <clears throat> Dude, that guy's a hero. Yeah. He's like on a loop. Cause that'd yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Get out. I mean, I like that music. By the way, the Browns have picked him up for, as a receiver this year. Right. Oh, that's crazy. That's awesome. he is a hero yeah so apparently like uh it fell out of another guy's pocket as they before they got into the crazy stuff um and it fell on the floor of the roller coaster and he was like hey if this thing bounces up you guys be ready to catch it and then sure enough like it bounced up and he actually reached out and caught it wow that's awesome <laughs> and the people on the roller coaster were like fuck i can't believe he uh i love how he looks behind him like yeah yeah, yeah i'm the man <laughs> <laughs> like, did you see yeah, that i know you saw that <laughs> how dude and and how awesome is that that it was being videotaped <laughs> so um it was actually it was the uh the roller coasters video i guess that they had so you could buy a video of yourself after you did the ride but um, the owner was so happy. The owner like ran over to him and grabbed him a hug. You know, grabbed him for a hug and like picked him up. <laughs> Said, "Oh yeah. my god, I can't believe you caught that thing." That's amazing. Well, that was nuts. Yeah, that's like some shit from the Matrix or something. Absolutely. And so the uh, our last news of the day, I'm actually gonna let you watch a minute 
of the video and you guys can tell me if you think you got to give me your <coughs> on what this lady is stealing she's stealing stuff oh i love watermelons her between her thighs let's see no oh, shit. that's such a badass car <laughs> do you have one of those stan when you're growing up i was not a chevy guy oh the oh, the oh, truck oh. i have now is the first chevy i've ever <laughs> owned in my life come from a ford family oh. the, uh now see the firebird that's general motors is just as bad i mean it's it's a camaro but i i like the car what can i say got it for cheap <laughs> sugar Lake. That. hey that's up the street from me jot, jot that down. I think she's taking an ATM. You think she's still in an ATM? Yeah. Oh. I guess she's trying to pull some down the mail slot. No, she's working on it for a while. So now she's got a saw. You got a saw? She came from here. And by oh. the way, that's a that's a Mercedes Benz uh, wagon yeah. there. Yeah, that she this got. Is out not, of, she is not like hurting her money. Apparently, cordless sawzall. You you would uh, never um never I would never be a cop and think to pull this girl over. So right, I, there is um a head. There's a headphone warning. There is some loud noise. That was a bad video on their part. <laughs> She makes it inside. Well, it turns out she was um, actually stealing Botox. Baby Fagan. Oh, dude. She was breaking into... Oh, she's stealing uh, Botox? She was breaking into a clinic to steal anti-aging products. Good for so her. So is this what soccer moms do when their kids are at like sleepovers and stuff? Apparently yeah. so, yep. That and ban, vape, ban vaping flavors. That's the two Man. things that they do. There you go. So um, they haven't been able to identify her. Actually, this was going to be in my news last week, but we ran long and um, I didn't do it. So this week I was like, they probably caught her by now because they have so much video. We should, I should so see if Veronica can find her and buy some cheap Botox. They still haven't found her yet. Or I, they, they haven't, haven't ID'd her. Probably they haven't could've. ID'd her. Like that wasn't enough to figure out who that was. All her friends are probably buying the Botox from her, like I'm not saying shit. Either, well, that and she's probably not in the uh, the criminal system. Like she's probably never done anything right. to be arrested or anything. She's she's just like screw this. I watched a show. Yeah, she beat, probably. Uh, <laughs> I can do that. that. She probably went in there one day to get Botox. They're like, uh, <clears throat> you know, ma'am, it's going to be five hundred dollars for your Botox. She's like, fuck that. Yeah, that's sorry, ma'am, your credit card's been declined. <laughs> but, oh, okay, well. I'll, I'll see you later. And like, she comes back that night. My husband's construction business is hurting, but I bet he's still got a saw around somewhere. My <laughs> saw's off. She, yeah. <laughs> she was driving a Mercedes Benz. That was a Mercedes Benz wagon. It's like a nine. All, all that cutting with the saw, and then she ends up pulling out pieces of broken glass. So I don't know if she was like trying to cut the glass, or she just gave up and stuck the saw through the glass. It doesn't really show, but. It looked like she was trying to cut through the door lock and she <clears throat> may have broke the glass or something from pressure yeah. vibration or something. I'm going to guess by her wearing her uh, workout gear that she's probably not a career com criminal. No, uh, yeah, that pink, that nice pink halter top. Yeah, she, she was sure. like heading to the gym. She's like, fuck it, I'm going to go steal some Botox. <laughs> but she hasn't been identified, so she had to come from like far away or something. She may have. Yeah. All right, well... That is the news. So we've got a lot of stuff to talk about. Stan, you've got a lot of interesting things happening in your life. Do I? 
Yeah, you've got a couple new products coming out. <laughs> First, you got the Notion coming out, which I think is really, really cool. I've never heard of it. There it is, the Dreamer. <laughs> Best mech mods ever. The uh, the Notion. So the Notion is an 18350 or 2350, right? Yes. Um, mouth to lung mech device. Yes. Which I never um, heard of until you, ta- you started talking about it. Well, it's not really a thing. Um, there's 18350. I mean, I'll be honest with you. There's 18350 mechs and everything. Um, and it's called the Notion MTL because it, an 18350 is nothing to mess around with low resistance builds. Right. Um, just, just can't do it. Uh, you uh, nine, ten apps. Yeah, you, exactly. The good 18350s and the iJoy 2350, they're 10 amp batteries. So, um, you know, I mean, think about it. That's even even a, a 0.4 build will overdraw an 18350, you know. So they they run mouth to lung coils perfectly. <clears throat> um, any 18350 mechs that have been out there before, most people run uh, MTL tanks on them. So it just made sense to call it the, the notion mouth to lung. Uh, frankly, because... You shouldn't be running a low, low build on it. And it says right on the top of the thing. There you go. It says right on the top of the mod, uh, not recommended below one ohm build. The stainless ones are sold out. I think all I have in stock is brass. But I have been told for all the people that are asking every single day, the stainless ones will be back in stock next week. Uh, they yes, were someone behind. Actually, someone told me to ask. Five dollars, man. That is such a good price, dude. It's forty-five dollars with the constant contact button. That That's works. crazy, Stan. I'll tell you, man. You're like everything you have is so fair priced. It's just amazing. Well, dude, I make. I mean, I love high end shit, but that doesn't mean that I don't love a good deal. Like, I think nice stuff should be affordable too. So That's absolutely crazy. I was surprised because. I knew that you were working on something to use the 18350, but I just assumed it wasn't going to come with the switch that you would need to buy the Dreamer switch separate or something at the $45 price point. And then I saw the constant contact and I was like, oh my God, that's cheap. I was going to be a dick <clears throat> and only release the constant contact with the Notion, but I figured everybody would be pretty mad about it. So you can get the, the constant contact button by itself too. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, I'd have been a dick, but it is. <laughs> well, it's, honestly, they the reason why the stainless is is taking so long is because uh, they didn't make that many in the first run. They didn't think that people were gonna want them. So that's awesome. They didn't have faith in it. I know that was the case um, at NVE. There was something I asked you about for the Dreamer, and you were like, "Ask the guy right here next to me because they don't want to make them because they think somebody won't buy them." I was like, dude, if Stan tells you that people are going to buy it, people are going to buy it. Mm-hmm. But I think that was with the contacts or a button or something. I didn't realize they were $45. I had no idea that's how. That's what the price point of it was. Yeah. I've got to get one. I, yeah. I've got to get one. I don't have any 18 or 2350s, but I'm going to have to pick some up. And well, I don't think um, I have a mouth to lung the RTA either. So I'm going to pick one of those up too. <laughs> well, I yeah. got those on the site too. You can get oh, you them do? at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, if you use code Vape on Friends, actually, you know what? You know what I'll do is for anybody on this show right now, I will make a code active at the end of the show, black cat, white face for 20% off. Can we do Charlie's uh, balls? What? Charlie's balls. What about Charlie's balls? We make that the code. No, that's not a discount code. That should be. My balls make stuff more expensive. (laughs) Charlie's smooth balls. (laughs) <laughs> Bob Ellis is right there, buddy. There That's awesome, man. Well, thank you, dude. I'll definitely I'll be using oh, that code right for the show. Is it black cat white face all one word? Yeah, I'll make it all one word. Uh, I'll do it after at the end of the show. Black cat white face, twenty percent off. And uh, if you like, it's my site's always free shipping over a certain amount. I think it's sixty bucks or something like that. So, and of course, you have the unicorn coming out now. What color is the unicorn come out in? That one. The sexiest one. And pink, right? And <gasps> yeah, the, the pink one's back there. Um I got I got this one, the pink one. It's coming in a um like a highlighter green 
which that has been just finished. The they're in the ma- it's in the mail coming to me, um, and then a black variant, and they're all made of brass with solid silver all the way through. Uh, I did a, a video on it. Um, solid silver I, contacts. Yeah, solid silver ardent hybrid pin. It comes with the ardent cap matching uh, oh, solid wow. silver ardent hybrid pin and a solid silver clutch system that is like the vert, but the contact is different. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, that's awesome. That is fantastic, man. I cannot wait. So it comes with solid silver? Yeah, it comes with solid silver. Um, the whole kit, it was also going to come with a bag, um, like a mod bag, a branded mod bag. But I told him xnay the mod bag uh i talked about it in my video too i said that it will come with a mod bag and it'll be 190 for the kit i told him xnay that let's just knock 10 bucks off so it's going to be 180 for the kit without the mod bag um you get the ardent cap the mod the solid silver clutch the solid silver pin for the ardent and the ardent cap all in the kit so for 180 yeah all solid silver dude wow. it's like it's almost 80 bucks worth of silver it's like 70 something bucks worth of silver so oh my god yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, man. I cannot <clears throat> wait. And those go on sale pretty soon, right? You said in it like uh next- Oh yeah, I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually they're gonna start being sold soon, but what I'm gonna do is is this is gonna be the first and probably the only time I'm gonna do a pre order on the site. So nice. uh I'm gonna go ahead and set up a pre order that's gonna start this coming week on them. So if you what want are the, one, what are the finishes you're gonna have right out the gate on pre order? uh the all the all four all four of them the blue the black the green and the uh the pink but i'm not going to start the pre-order until i get the images or in my hand so that i can actually show them yeah you know so uh that's why i've been waiting that's why they haven't gone up yet is because i'm waiting on the green one to get in my hand and i'm waiting on the images of the black so and it's not going to be that black like bedliner type feelings i hate that it's not gonna be oh that. yeah uh, uh, not a fan yeah absolutely well man that is awesome dude that's so exciting did you plan to have both the notion and the unicorn coming out at the same time no it just happened it just happened by accident wow so and uh, um there's a couple other things that are right on their heels too that i'm trying to space a little bit but we'll see what happens Ebby, cool. I'm sorry. I will not. I, I don't ship overseas, um, uh, but it's a Canada company. So you can get a hold of Unicorn and talk to them and they'll get you hooked up. So we had some pretty uh, moving, moving to a different subject altogether. Steve. We had some pretty big news this week in the vaping community. The first all out ban of flavors by the armpit of the United States. The state of Michigan. Did you hear about this? The armpit of the United States. It's the armpit of the United States. <laughs> Michigan's the armpit of the United States. I love it. It is. It's a shame. <clears throat> it really is. Sorry, if you live in Michigan, I'm so well, not really. I'm not really sorry. I'm from Ohio. We don't like Michigan. Anyway, the uh, honorable Gretchen uh, Whitwer- Whitmer has banned the, uh, the sale of flavors, both retail in the state and internet so i don't know how she's going to enforce it it's kind of like you know i guess you could tell you know sites not to send to michigan i mean can you do that but Uh, uh, charlie do you know the reason why she did this is there any reasoning behind it does she have it uh, does she do a poll or did she speak to people did she talk to doctors what happened she talked to her kids her kids that's who she talked to they advised her I like that. They advised her that they were vaping and all their friends were vaping. I like that. She yeah. talked to her kids. She did a Google search, up popped the word formaldehyde, and then she went, oh, hell no. Yeah, She's like, look, out. they put that in dead people. We're not just going to ban it. We're going to also give a speech now that I can say formaldehyde. That's what Isn't that what armadillos are made of? Like, hey, uh, hey, Jason, can you come over here? What's this big, long word that starts with F? <laughs> oh, that's formaldehyde and she was like yep i'm using it <laughs> call the news when you're 70 years old you have twins you're kind of out of touch of the uh with the 
that that Everything. yeah that could happen so yeah. so she talked to her kids charlie the, the kids advise her the kids are her advisors i guess they work for her they work yeah. for the state apparently um they had put it up through the typical legislative process and didn't get any traction. So she just decided as governor that uh, once her kids mentioned it, they, uh, they should ban it. So she wrote an emergency order. I like that. I like, I like her style. I like that. If you don't like something, just ban it. I'm no, going to start you know banning What though? Lead flavored water. That's where it's at. She's got a whole lot <laughs> yeah. of stock in that. <laughs> you know, that in. As long as you don't bring in any uh, anything to help put an end to the corrosion on the lead pipes, you're welcome to send in any tainted water. I like that. We got a donation from the one, the only, the sexiest man on the YouTube. Fagan, I don't know if you know. I take offense to that. Well, yeah. you were in the running when we had <laughs> Swaggins on, Fagan. You were voted the sexiest reviewer on the YouTubes. <laughs> We voted you. Stan was up for it too, but you beat him. You beat him. Oh, I forgot him. about that. Yeah, we did the sexiest man on you, the sexiest reviewer on YouTube. Fagan, Fagan won. That's right. Fagan, twenty dollar donation. This is towards Black Cat White Fade's makeup fund. I do need to. I do need to put some some. <laughs> oh God. I'm looking a little blotchy. And a few bucks to help Charlie build his wall. Charlie, you need to build a wall. Yeah, I'm actually building a wall in the backyard. Whoa. Around Michigan. Volume yeah. Jump. Was that I'm mean? only keeping out people from Michigan. We're gonna build a wall around Michigan. No, let the people out of Michigan. Just keep Gretchen Witchmeyer, whatever her name is. Just keep her in there. Whitmer. So oh. one thing that's been thrown around a lot is it's got to be a democratic <laughs> state, and uh, of course it is. Uh, but the big problem is immediately the media started contacting the opposing side for some dicey statements, and some of the Republican legislators basically said. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna. Uh, there's no way we're gonna oppose this bill, as as much as we don't agree with everything the governor does. We we can't vote against something that's gonna put children's lives at risk. The children card is un, is unbreakable. I, well, now wait a minute. I heard something different. There have been some others that spoke up, but that was the that was the first comment that 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 put had. children's lives is at risk. Yeah, that's that's always what hey, they, hey, um, like, tainted water, maybe that could put people's life. No, shit, right, Charlie? What age yeah. did you start smoking? Uh, 14. What about you, cat? Uh, I was pretty, probably about 12, 13. No, shit, you'd say you were a child, yeah, yeah, yeah let's all go get grape swishers and celebrate. And it had nothing to do with flavors, no, it had oh. because I wanted to look cool, I wanted to look older. No shit. Like that yeah. it's just so stupid. It irritates me. <clears throat> and I was I started probably smoking around fifteen and I was a I was the late bloomer. Like I was the last one out of all my friends and stuff. Uh, and I still wasn't a real heavy smoker, but everybody smoked and it wasn't for flavors. Like literally I was one of the few people that didn't smoke in high school for a little while. <laughs> you know, I, I think it, it I don't know a whole lot. Admittingly, I don't know a whole lot about state law, but I do know that if 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 a governor, the executive branch of the state, says there's an emergency, that it gives them invokes them some sorts of rights and powers, and I believe that's what she did. So I, you right. know, there's no and way there's, that you can just stop it. You can't just say no. You can't do that because right. I and, believe it's within her rights to do that during a state of emergency. Yeah, and there's a reason for that. You know, like uh, say a natural disaster hits and a governor needs to declare martial law to get yeah. back under control, something like sure. that. They have those powers. This will be fought, and I feel like in the long run, her ruling could be overturned, or they could come back and say that she didn't have that power. But I think it's going to be too late. It's going to be down the road after businesses have shut Already down. Closed. Yeah, they're yeah. good. They're done. All businesses. If they are buy good. three months through the legal process. It's going to it's going to destroy a lot of small businesses. Absolutely. I think it's amazing to me that um, there isn't bigger outrage from it. But it really goes to show with how well the anti vaping um, groups have demonized it. It really, I mean, it, it, hats off to them. They've done a phenomenal job. 
at demonizing vaping and really misleading people into thinking that it's more dangerous than smoking. And also that it's, it's grabbing up the kids of the nation are all going to smoke cigarettes. Now they've done a fantastic job at that. And Have you ever noticed how trolling someone is easier than to build them up or try to help them be better? Have you ever noticed that? Uh, trolling it's, is easy. Yeah. Trolling is way easy, than, easier than it is to try to make somebody better or feel good about themselves. I feel like the same thing goes in life about everything. It's so much easier to demonize something and make everybody hate something or oh. freak out about something they don't understand than it is to have them take five minutes to actually learn about something right. and understand yeah. and realize that it's not this demon, terrible, freaking bullshit that, that everybody says it is. It's just, it's just the way society is, and it's stupid ass. I think that I think it's also I think that there's a certain part of the population in in where we've come as a society that it, that likes outrage that likes to be outraged and maybe not not will not come out I'm sure they won't come out and admit it but they they enjoy that feeling of anger and being mad at somebody and having you know collect together and say you did this wrong and I, I really do think that that people enjoy that I don't enjoy that um, but I do I do think there's a certain part of our population that does. And that looks for things, you know, have you ever heard of people looking for things to be offended by or looking for things to be upset about? I do think that certain people take joy in that. And, and um, dude, a ton of people do. And, and, and when you get like a cause like vaping, they hear a couple of things against it and that it hurt a couple of kids. And you know what, man, if I didn't know anything about vaping, if I really didn't, and I kept hearing that I was hurting kids, I'd be fucking furious about it. I the have people kids. I'd be furious about it. So I can't, I can understand it, you know? The people that watch shows like um, like Jay Hayes, Truck and Vapes, WJW Willow show, like all those shows where they're where they're really uh, which I watch them because they make me laugh. But um, people that watch those shows because they're edgy and they say things that are more offensive and stuff like that just to be pissed off and talk shit about them or or, you know, give them troll crap or nasty comments and things. Those people are the people that, that in society that are ruining things like it, it's they, they're constantly search. And you know why, you know why they do it. They do it for that five minutes that they're going to be paid attention to by the person because you offended me and right. I'm going to let it be known. And, and, and hopefully they find other people like them that are of like mind that they can like rally up together and just make a bigger, nastier noise that yeah, and that's what really doesn't matter. The internet has provided that echo chamber for a lot of those people. Mm. Yeah. But there's yeah. also, besides just the political contributions, there's one thing we're fighting against at the state level that I don't know how we're going to get around it. And that's the tobacco um, MSA agreement. Right. And it's so it's funny a big how that works. Problem went. because uh, if you look at the numbers on in Ohio where they uh, just did the vape tax, the new vape tax, you look at the numbers on what total income is going to be from that vape tax. It's nowhere near like the difference is the taxes in the millions and MSA money is in the billions. And yeah. there's there's nowhere near states can see like they could freaking put a hundred percent wholesale tax on vape products. And it's not going to be anywhere near what they make from the MSA agreement and people continuing to smoke. The, well, the, the, the state's state already spent, sorry. Well, no, the infrastructure in, in, in Michigan is awful. The, 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 yeah. the there's highways and the roads are awful. Now the money that the uh, federal government gives every state money for infrastructure, but that money is being diverted into other things in Michigan because they're fucking broke. So you're, you know, you're messing with the MSA agreement that totals about $5 billion, right? They're going to protect that. Okay. Yeah. And I can understand as a state, um, you know, because, you know, we we're talking about this earlier. It's like, <clears throat> you're looking at your budget, you're looking at your income and some of the incomes going down with, you know, anybody who does a budget is going to say, why is our income going down from that source? Right. And if it's because, well, there's another product that's taking away the tax revenue from this product, um, you're going to say, well, what do we do to stop that product so that we can continue to get our tax revenue? And one thing that, that the governor did mention, and, and I don't know if she meant to say this, but she said they need to work on their tax law. And I think once it becomes taxable, that's why she did six months, 
because once it becomes taxable and they have a tax structure in place for their state, then they'll reopen it back up again. Because quite frankly, she don't give a fuck about anybody, really. Obviously, look yeah, at well, once you. I, I don't think you can argue that she has a moral compass. If you look at the city of Flint and the water problem, I don't think I don't think there's an argument that she has no moral compass. I don't. Right. Okay, can I can I at least have that point? So she doesn't really care. She cares more about the money and she wants to make sure that her taxes are set up so that she, when it comes back up, she can tax the shit out of it and gain revenue from it. Well, I have no That's basis. That's what it feels of, like to me. I have no basis of proof, but it's my understanding that a lot of states used that tax income as a line of credit as well. So they're already behind in it and they need That's that. That's correct. Money. And they're, yeah, they're bonding <laughs> it off. Yeah. Um, and the time is coming up on a lot of states to renew their bonds. I haven't dug into Michigan yet, but I've just realized how big the bond market is. And with my job, I, I work with bonds and sureties. And so I know how much money is in those. That's a really big pot. <laughs> and I, and I, the sad thing is, it is no matter what decision is made, it, you can pretty much always take it back to money for the most part. Yeah. Um, that's how capitalism yeah. works. And, you know, I'm not saying it's wrong. Um, In Michigan, they, they, banned, they banned flavored vape products for six months uh, with an option to extend for another six months. Right. So she's basically got 12 months guaranteed on this uh, unless something happens and it's overturned. Well, you know what's going to happen is is a whole bunch of companies are going to close. Not that they have a ton of awesome uh, – um, Oh my gosh, what's it called? The whole money infrastructure. Why am I brain farting? Uh, uh, not that they have a ton of money coming in anyway. They're going to basically get rid of a whole bunch of vape companies and stuff that are in, in that area that are going to lose jobs and things like that. They're going to lose money but from taxes and stuff. And it's just, they're going to realize that it's not helping. It's not doing anything. Kids right. are still going to get what and if I'm a want. shop owner and I've got shops in say seven States, I'm not a vapor or anything. I'm just a business owner with, with shops in seven States. And this comes up in Michigan. I can either pay my people out to liquidate the shelves and work two or three more months. And Economy. Then Sorry. <laughs> or we could just close the doors tomorrow and I'd not waste the money on overhead. Right. More that's what i would do the I wouldn't even try to mess yes, of course and that's the that's the problem for jobs and employment and uh, what a lot of i'll tell you what what uh, this is another industry but what the uh collectible uh sports cards did is the, you know card shops used to be huge i don't know if you remember back in the day but when i was a kid everybody had a card shop Mm -hmm. but they dried up and so did the market the card market like in the 90s went to shit but what they decided to do was they opened up online stores out of those stores and a lot of them broadcast on youtube and they do like buy-ins for pack openings and things like that so ultimately i mean if you have a location a business you know if you have seven locations it's not going to work for all seven but if you have one you could open up you know pay a couple thousand dollars to get a website open do a little bit of traffic through that. And you could remain a business through the internet because I don't believe that I, I believe you can still send out flavored e-liquid from Michigan. I would assume. Yeah. That's what it, it looks like to me as far as manufacturing and stuff, as long as your sales aren't in, aren't in. Well, it would uh -huh. depend. It would depend because if in my, in my understanding, they wouldn't be able to purchase their own stock anyway. So it would have to be like that would be the home base of the company, but they would have to be drop shipping from other states to other states, right? And that's a possibility, right? You could always yeah. I don't I don't know for sure, but I believe that's probably how it would have to work. I, it's just taking a taking a step back from your business that you've already established. You have employees. You obviously can't. You know, you only need a couple of people to run the internet business. You don't right. need shifts, right? That's right. People, you know, and unemployment in Michigan is awful. It's awful. It's been awful for 25 years, you know, and it's just worse now. You uh, see the 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 message, or the comment from Harley's five star reviews says, "I will never go back to smoking. I got juices and coils and lots of vapes to last me for a while." Yeah, that's all well and good, in my opinion, but that's that doesn't help anything. Yeah, and saying saying that just it. it it doesn't really, yeah, that's just you. 
what about all those people that are smoking yeah. what about like you know my mom you know what about uh, that's not that's not what it's about it's not about you being okay and maybe that's just me no i agree and we've always got the diy argument let them take the flavors we can diy but and yeah, we see opinion, how good that is with all these kids and butane and, right in my opinion what we're going to run into is uh when they start regulating the nicotine i don't see a pmta happening and the diy market getting really big and them not regulating nicotine <clears throat> that that's where this has all been and i think it's it, it's been like one of the major momentum things for this is the scheduling of nicotine and getting it under control of the pharmaceutical industry, man, because it's a it's a quadrillion dollar industry. If they can right. Do. And uh, I, I think that's why they're demonizing it so badly, you know, and it, they, they, the common people think it causes cancer. I bet you more than 50 percent of our population thinks nicotine causes. cancer. Oh, for sure. Probably upwards of 60 to 70 percent of, of folks, if you were to ask on the street. Right. Yeah. Those same people would say that vaping is worse than smoking. Yeah. Well, if only caffeine would have been in cigarettes instead of nicotine, right? Right. Oh, no shit, would, right? Would have been in tobacco leaf. I'll and tell you what, man. Those coffee. bang energy drinks make me feel – they make me feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> they a, friend do. Of, a friend of mine, his son is a teenager, and he drank one. Um, and it fucked his world up. Like, first he just got the energy high and got all jittery, but then he started puking his guts up. It, yeah. it was crazy. Dude. Wow. It's nuts. Wait, which one are you talking about? Which energy drink? Bang. Bang. Yeah, I've heard of that. I've never had any. I've heard of it. It's some hot, four it's loco? hot power shit. Yeah. You know what? I liked it. And like, I started getting real sick, like sick to my stomach, like really, really bad cramps and just feeling and nauseated and stuff. And I was like, man, like I loved the pear one, the green and purple one. And I was drinking it for like, I don't know. I was drinking it for like two weeks or something. And then I realized that it was the bang that was making me sick. I had to stop. I was like, this is terrible. And I go back to freaking monster monsters. Okay. I can deal with monster, but. Beggar just said he was in chat on a live show today with a doctor that was telling people you are better off smoking than vaping right now. Oh, fuck. Yep. I mean, we're so fucked. Yep. All right. Well, I got a couple giveaways we got to do. Let, let, let's end this on a good note. Um, but Wait, what you can do a, is... We had a question. Oh, we did? And I fucking... I missed it. I missed the name. I apologize. You can post it again. Uh, somebody... Sorry, my wife was distracting me with jiggling her breasts. So uh, I'm going to post in the chat uh, oh. Miss Gretchen Whitmer's uh, line into her office. Uh, please give her a call and let her know what you think. Be polite. Be yep. polite. <laughs> Be polite. There you go. There's her number. So you can give her a call and let her know. I gave her a couple of calls yesterday. Yeah, I've given her a call too. Um, I, I tried to tell her. I told her I was a reporter. I wanted an art. I wanted to do yeah. a story with her. When you go to screaming and a profanity, they just write you off. Um, so just be professional and get your voices heard. Let her know what a shitbag thing that was to do, but in a professional tone. All right, guys. First giveaway is for a $25 gift certificate to Shy Tots e-liquid. You can pick out some cat's whiskers or some Mont Blanc. Stuff is fantastic. $25 gift certificate. I need a number between one and 150. Now, Stan, I need you to not watch the chat because you're going to pick a number, Stan. So cover your eyes. All right, hold well, on. That, um... Lando is not allowed in the giveaway. He is, <laughs> he is banned. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, I can't see. <laughs> That, uh, there you go. I like that, Stan. I like that. You might okay. miss your wife's jiggling boobs, though. Uh, they were they were very uh, mesmerizing. I will also say this: if you're not subscribed to Black Cat White Face's YouTube channel, this is the best YouTube channel on the YouTube's. Not no, <laughs> that, that information is is not a statistic. I'm not statistically the best show on YouTube through views or subscriptions or anything, but I'm telling you, I'm the best, dude. I'm I a rapper. I'm like I a rapper. Asked, I tell you I'm the best rapper, and guess what? I am. I actually so asked, to my channel. I asked my kids who was the best on the YouTubes, and they said Black Hat White Face. I? I was like, well, fuck. It's a statistic then. What you I should have asked them is, why are you watching vaping? I let kids vape and smoke and, and do drugs. That's why they like me. I'm going to get banned. 
I'm gonna get banned from the YouTube. <laughs> I, I'm losing subscribers immediately. As soon as I said, it's the second time I mentioned it in the show. I feel I weird. It. Can I move my hat up yet? Uh, yeah, we're going to stop it. All right, we got a bunch of entries. Hold on, let me hit stop. All what right, are, What stop. am I supposed to guess? Yeah, you, now you got to guess the number between 1 and 150, Stan. 1 and 150? 1 and 150, Stan. Okay. 1 and 150. All right, you ready? I'm ready. You sure? I'm fucking positive, man. I'm 149. Not... One, what a dick. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> but it's close to this number without going over. Damn, I would have won. <laughs> Michelle. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Michelle Lynn's in there. She picked 151. That's Bacardi. Michelle Lynn is here? Yeah, Michelle Lynn's here. Hey, Michelle. She, goes up. she likes watching the show. Uh, let's see. 151. Uh, 132. That vape guy. 132, 132. We got a winner. 132. That vape guy. All right. Congratulations, sir. Now, that vape guy. I hope you are over 21 years of age. You're gonna have to prove your. Uh, you're probably gonna have to prove your age. Well, you're gonna have to because it'll be against the law. We don't want to do that. And you're not in the state of Michigan. <laughs> I can't Screw really that. that. You can't be in the state of Michigan. Screw you? that. You're not selling it. Yeah, not selling you're it. not selling it. I, I'm gonna get the show shut down. The show's Dude, gonna. Screw I, it. Let, the, let all those Michigan police yeah. officers with don't nothing. send to Michigan. Yeah. We're not going to send to Michigan. Michigan police officers with send nothing to the better. border in Ohio. You have to drive down and get it's it. The mail. <laughs> all right. What I need you to do is contact Shytots26 on Instagram. If you don't know how to get a hold of her, it's on Instagram. Her name is Jane Dot. I believe she's in the chat. It is on Instagram, Shytots26, S H Y T O T S. 26 or if you can't find them you can contact me through email and i'll point you in the i'll point you right in the right direction unless you're from michigan then i'll point you to the door that so, vape guy said to piff it piff it all right we'll go with the next uh, next highest this guy gets pissed when i do that i hate piffers <laughs> i hate a piffer Let me, i'm just kidding kind of i don't hate you that vape guy at all because that just sounds dirty piffer uh, I'm not a Piffer fan. You um, piffing Piffer. I said, I'll piff it. And Scott was like, damn it, Charlie. Why did you enter if you're just going to piff it? Don't enter. Again. Willow, 126. WJ Willow, brother, you are the winner. 126, am I right? Hell yeah, yes. Willow. Willow, congratulations, Willow. You are the winner, sir. So just just the same, Willow. Contact Shytots26 on Instagram. Um, or you can contact G.I. Jane. Uh, either one. If you follow either one of those on Instagram, if you're not on Instagram, send me an email at my email address below or contact me on Discord, something like that. It's all black cat white face one at gmail.com. So get a hold of me. All the contact information is below. I'll get you over there. There she's here. Jane Dodd. That's her. She's she <laughs> is the face. And she's also my long lost love. Yeah, I gotta tell you, well, uh, don't she's my next ex-wife. Don't slack on that. She's my next ex-wife. <laughs> don't slack on that because the juice is freaking dope. It's dope. I have a bunch of bottles like this sitting around. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because I'm too scared to, like, run them empty, so I get them down to there, and then I just leave them. Is that, is that cat whiskers? The greatest he looked No, this one's the blueberry cheesecake. Oh, yeah. The mango is fire. I Cat's love whiskers it. is here somewhere. Cat's whiskers? Cat's whiskers are pretty good. I'm a Mont Blanc guy. Mont Blanc is mine. My favorite. When Jay Hayes tried it, and he was like, I can't taste it. I don't get toasted coconut. I was like, oh, my gosh. Look at that juice. <laughs> I'm well, so offended. Know, no, it, the thing about it is, when you taste juice, have you just eaten some? I mean, I, everybody tastes different. Everybody yeah. has a different taste. I'm just messing around. I didn't I know. But I, I am. It's really I, cool that he did it on that. He did it live. I thought yeah. it was him and Bree took the time to do that. I was like really like flat. There you go. That they did it. You know what I mean? And it gets the brand out there. People get curious about it. Helps change. Yeah, and I'm one of those people that vapes one flavor. I'm up to three flavors now, but that's like all I've. I vape it all the time. Yeah, I got a couple that I do. I, I rotate it around there. All right, so we have another giveaway we're going to do. If you this now, this giveaway is only for the people that reposted a pick this week from our featured builder. If you did not repost a pick this week, then I'm sorry you can't enter. So I need if you did repost, I need a number between one and one fifty. Go. Another number between one and one fifty? Yeah, this one I'll pull though. You don't have to do this one. Okay. You can watch. 
Good. I was feeling you, pressured. You can you don't feel pressure. That was a lot of work. Huh, that was a lot of work. Yeah, I was I was not liking that. <laughs> I think I want to build something big and cloudy for this stew. Big and cloudy. I like that. Should I rock a parallel? You need a Valhalla on a rule breaker. No. Double Should I rock a parallel box? Or should I rock a hexome? This is what you need. Hmm. This would that be thing? cloudy. You need. You know sun. what, dude? Dude, your stack key. I think I just showed my ass to everybody. I'm sorry. Did I? Yeah, I liked it. And did you? Uh, I really showed my ass. Damn it! <laughs> I always wear my freaking shorts that fall off my ass when I'm on YouTube. Because YouTubers don't wear pants. Yeah, I've seen your ass a lot. Have you really? Yep. Fine. This thing right here, man. This thing, I don't care if you like the company or not. This thing. That's from Armageddon, right? Uh, it's from Immortal Mods. Immortal, yeah. Yeah. This thing hits like a freight train. It feels good. This is just a badass mod. It's stupid simple. I like it. I need to polish it. Mr. Uh, Cricket Dick Steven Garlington bought two of those mods and says they're fucking rock solid. All right, here we go. So we only got a few entries here, but we're going to go between 1 and 150. First number is 124. Second number is 101. Winning number is going to be four. And it looks like, oh, Chessie picked four right on the nose. How nice. That. Jesse's my friend. Jesse's awesome. Jesse, yeah. you are the winner. Congratulations. You won three sets of coils, a bottle of juice, and a bag of holy fiber. I'll get that out to you tomorrow. Send me like a... Uh, holy know. fiber. I, your heart is clean. <laughs> send, send me $5.50. Correction. Uh, Stephen Garlington has four of those uh, mods, not two of them. He bought two more. You know what, Michelle? I'll build. I'll build the. I'll build that dull dime. That's what I'll do. I'll build something for the dull dime. Hell yeah! Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, guys, we're winding down. We actually went over today. Stan, you got anything? Uh, any? Yeah, any shout outs you want to do? Any goodbyes before we get out of here? You want to show your butt again? I want to show my what? My penis? What? Your butt? Your butt? Your butt? Only? Oh, dude! I was like, what kind of show is this? <laughs> it's we um, do that on the show. No, I really try not to stand up because I don't like I, I like to wear my basketball shorts when I'm chilling and I look like I a freaking tool bag. I thought that was the only thing you wore. No, just when I'm in here chilling and <laughs> it just so happens I'm on YouTube a lot when I'm in here chilling. So um no man, I don't. Just make sure you watch out uh lucidarda.com for the Tenacious Unicorn pre buy pre order. Uh, that'll be happening this week and notions will be restocked. So keep an eye out and remember black cat white face is going to be your 20% off code. When this is over, give me like a few minutes to set it up. Um, the and, links yeah. are all over chat. And dude, we've added like 500 freaking products to the website too. So Damn. because I, I hooked up with a company out of California. So if you order something from me and you get like half your order, the other half is right behind it because it's coming from a drop shipper in another state. So I could really expand the inventory and everything. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Awesome, man. Well, thanks again, Stan. You're awesome, dude. Thanks for having me on, man. You you know, I love you, bro. Uh, you know, I, I love, love you, bro. You oh, anytime, dude. You can come on anytime. And watch for you. Watch for a uh, black cat, white faces yeah, review. Cause this is already totally on the way. Top, it's coming. I got the pink one. You did. You got a pink one. I, I'm fucking. I'm so excited to have a pink <laughs> one. I can't wait. I like. I'm so pumped. Yeah. So uh, Stephen Garlington just gave his review. He said the notion is awesome. So uh, it's, the stainless will be back in stock soon. But I've been throwing the link in chat to get the other notions. So they're in brass and copper right now. Forty five bucks with a constant contact button. If you just want the constant contact button, it's like nineteen ninety nine. But why would you miss out on that eighteen three fifty two for twenty more bucks, twenty five more bucks? <laughs> so you can get the constant contact button for nineteen ninety nine. I like. That. I can't First afford to pay you, Charlie. I'm sorry. <laughs>
So Black Hat Whiteface, 20% off. Um, thanks for joining us. Make sure to check out the stew tonight. And Scott will 9 p.m. Central. Scott will tell you who else is on because he remembers all that shit. I try to. All right. Well, hey, thanks everybody for joining. I really appreciate it. Thanks again to you, Stan. You are the best, man. And best of luck to all the products you cut coming out, dude. I mean, you make fantastic products at fantastic prices. And as a consumer of things, of a vape device, I that just means the world to me. So thank you for doing what you do. Charlie, you're the man, dude. Good <laughs> thank show. You. Good show, brother. Good show. Great job. No, seriously. Charlie, you're the best news Charlie's like, ever. Charlie is like, this is Charlie. I basically just like run it. Charlie, this is Charlie's show. Charlie does all, like, he's awesome. So I think Charlie needs his own show where he only uh, he only talks about outrageous news from around the world. I think that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. The weird news. Absolutely. All That's right, guys. Thanks, everybody, for joining tonight on the YouTube. You got some fantastic shows. You got the vape stew on at 10 o'clock. So make sure you are tuned in to that. That's Eastern time, the only time. You also have the green room. I believe that is on at 8 o'clock. You have Fresh, from the, Fresh yes. is on at 9 o'clock. And Tommy Vapors is on at 11 o'clock. I'll see you in the chats of all those. What about the Rising Vapors? Rising Vapors is on at 730, right? Sorry about that spring. Love you guys. <laughs> at 7 or 7.30. Make sure you're subscribed to all those guys. Make sure you're in chat. I'll see you guys there. I hope everybody has a fun, safe weekend. Now, one last thing I'll say before I go here. The whole thing with Michigan is a fucking mess. But look, doesn't mean that we need to be like rude to everybody and, and that, you know, try to talk sense. If you, if you want to give her a call, give her a call and be polite and just say, hey, this is what vaping did for me. If, if, you're in a, if you're in a conversation with somebody, take an extra three minutes to tell them the reasons why you vape and that it is safer than smoking if they are smoking cigarettes. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend Monday. We're back at it with another featured builder. I will see you guys then. Five o'clock Eastern time, the only time. Love you guys.